Well, I hope this works. I'm not really sure what to... Uh, oh, who the heck is that? I think it's a Junko. Uh, yeah, making the warning sound that it... Uh, guess what? There's a human being in the freaking backyard. Um, well, this one's about the backyard. I don't particularly think you want to see me. I think you'd rather take a look at some stuff, but... Um, I don't know if you can see Leo, but he's in there somewhere. And there's going to be my ferns. Wait until you see that in a little while. They are going to be, um, my God, almost uh, pushing close to two meters, man. I'm not kidding you. Um, anyways, um, you know what? I think I potentially may have, uh, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty darn confident. Um, um, I was thinking about it a little tiny bit there before my second sleep about... Uh, um, a piece of software I used to use um, called ESMS. It's an open, it's open software. I can't remember exactly what it stands for. It's something like um, email soccer management system or, or simulator or something like that. But um, it's it actually is the reason why um, uh, my email address for some of you guys that uh, have ever used my Yahoo account, smile so underscore soccer. It's because I used to run a, um, Play by email soccer league oh my god that thing was huge it was uh actually it was ironic that uh, i can remember way, uh, a little while ago um uh, meandering mike made a comment uh saying oh i i probably need some staff or something i'll hire some staff if i wanted to get into like a little bit more detail with the grand campaign and the reality is i actually i did not you know they were they were volunteers but i actually had two people help out because the league got so big it was massive uh, it was, yeah, I went nuts. Um, well, it's basically, I just poured all my attention towards it. Anyways, um, the reason why it's called, uh, my address is called Smile Soccer is due to the fact that I wanted to come up with something a little bit friendly. Uh, so it's, uh, it was Smile for, uh, Soccer Management Interlet Internet League Experience. Anyways, now we'll get back to the program. So, the program, uh, basically you enter in, uh, a team sheet. Uh, basically your roster and then you uh, you put in a bunch of conditions based on uh, minutes uh, um, The score you put in your tactics you can change tactics you can sub you can do all kinds of things um, and uh, You the manager the person like if it was me running the, the whole league the commissioner if you want to call it that um, That would be on oh, here if you want to flip it over Christ's sakes um, that would be, you know, I'll just pop it over here. Maybe you can see both. Maybe that's the way it works or something. I don't know. Can't put it near the bird bath because that'd be the end of it. <laughs> um, maybe I'll prop it up on a freaking whatever. Hold on. I'm just doing whatever. I'm just talking to you guys, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, this isn't like a freaking whatever, right? Uh, or, man, there's that effing word again. God, I hate that word. Um... What was I going to say? So, anyways, about the software, like I said, you can you can go you can go to town. Shit, I don't know. Sorry, I'm maybe stepping on a, or sitting on a strawberry plant. Um, anyways, the sky's the limit with this thing, and um, it also what it does after when you you run the game um, uh, as the commissioner, it uh, creates a, a commentary. So you, it's you know it's basic remember it's play by email for Christ's sake so it's and it's not like uh, nowadays type of stuff but it'll be like you know minute three uh, Mandarin Mike passes to Charles Latora Charles Latora scores you know or or maybe a great save by Dirk D and uh, you know William Aaron's um, uh, blows the whistle as a ref or something who knows you get the idea um, uh, when I thought of that I was like wait a flipping minute. This could solve so many bloody issues because I can tear that software apart. Remember, it's open, so it's open source. Uh, I can tear it apart and just, you know, alter the alter the commentary to whatever I want, such as um, the Fourth Inf Infantry Division um, uh, across the river or made advances or whatever. Um, I'm just saying it's adaptable. It is easily adaptable, and it's free. And I'll try to pop the link in, uh, whatever, so you can go take a look. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna tear the hell out of this thing and convert it into a World War One battle, uh, 
battle simulator thingamajig and I can do some of the fronts that way. Uh, it'll be something simple like, uh, let's say afterwards you'll get a score of like three to one for the Italians over the Austrians or something and then I'll just convert what that three to one means. Uh, what does that mean? Does that mean um, uh, three hexes gained by the Italians and one lost somewhere else or whatever? I'm just saying. Uh, it's there. It's there to be used. Might as well use it. That's why I'm looking at it. I'm telling you, man, in a little tiny while, it's going to be some freaking amazing stuff. Oh, my God. Everything's just kind of like clickety-clickety-click. I just love it. Um, so that's it. Um, yeah, it's a freaking amazing day. I'm waiting for Zoe to pop over. Um, um, yeah, looks like it's going to be a pretty darn good weekend. Uh, Rob's coming over on Sunday. He's super-duper hyper-pumped to do a barbecue. He's already into this foot-long hot dog thingamajig. Ooh, I think I'm going to have to stop my video. The neighbor's dog.